Alrighty, this is a review on the Camelback Striker hunting pack. Uh, this pack was with me all hunting season and all last. Uh, this is a really good pack, it's really durable. Um, I got it on sale at Dick's for like 60 bucks um, before last hunting season. And it's a, it's a really well put together, well built pack. It has um, has a lot of sweet features on it. Um, I'll just start with the the main compartment. I'm doing this with one hand, so it's going to be a little rough. But the main compartment has, I think it's like I don't know. 1100 cubic inches or something like that. Um, hold on, I'll look at the specs here real quick. Let's see this. Uh, so there are the specs. The cargo volume is uh, 10, 1,098 1, cubic inches, and the total volume is uh, 1,220 cubic inches. So, inside the main compartment, it is around a thousand cubic inches, and in the main compartment, it has it's, it's really nice insulated. It keeps your gear warm or it keeps it cold when you're hunting. And uh, there's a, a top pouch here that you know I put binoculars or you know whatever, and I put you know my calls and my. Uh, you know whatever you can get in there and then there's a another pouch here on the front pouch I usually keep a flashlight connected here just so I can find the gear in the dark or whatnot and uh, some nice uh, elastic mesh pouches here I usually keep my hunting license in here and some pins and for my hunting license and uh, you know, maybe hand warmers or you know whatever. It's a nice size pouch where you can fit some decent stuff in there. Uh, oh yeah, and there's a little bit of molly on the front here. I just tied some paracord on here just so I can. I think I had a uh, knife attached there one time that I was going up and down with it. Uh, let's see. There's also some pouches here on the side where I ended up sticking my knife there and they actually go pretty deep um, then you can uh, you have this little loop here where you can attach your gear that goes in here that's what I use it for you gotta be careful though because I put a knife in here and uh, when I was drawing it out I actually kind of slice it going in and out all the time but I just took a lighter to it and burnt it um, let's see here. Uh, the, the the straps are actually uh, actually really good. I mean, it's a smaller pack, so you don't really need big thick straps. So the straps are you know wide enough, and they're you know pretty thin, where you can uh, you know where it's not going to get in the way or too bulky. Um, but like I said, this is just a day pack. So um, if you have a hydration bladder. Uh, it holds 70 ounces of water or two liters and um, here's the uh, port where you can put the hydration system through it has like a little retaining thing here and I want to tell you about this here's the bladder that came with the pack and here's the part that actually attaches to the the retaining thing and it actually broke on me because this thing is like way too tight and taking it in and out refilling it all hunting season it just this thing just snapped so I don't know that's something to keep in mind but uh, be careful of that when you're fastening and undoing it but with the hydration you string it through here and it has nice attachment points for the hydration so you can uh, attach it wherever you want has a nice uh, 
sternum strap on it. And uh, here, um, here I just use this is just as a knickknack camo form that I use to retain the straps with it. But um, another good idea that actually uh, I kind of found out through. Um, hold on, I dropped this thing. I found out through a friend. Um, if you want to ret retain your straps on your backpack, these are, you can get these at Walmart or whatever. These are just cord straps with some Velcro on them. And these just can, uh, you can just strap, you know, retain your straps by just wrapping these around it. And it just Velcros it and they're really nice and tight. So these are really good. But, um, oh yeah, and there's another pour at the bottom here for um, your hydration if you want to run it up to the top. And there's also some ports, some uh, Molly attachments on the bottom here for uh, if you want to attach, you know, whatever, a butt pack or, you know, whatever you want to do on it. But uh, here's this, here's a, here's a top strap. Um, there's actually a story here. I was uh, climbing down out of my uh, tree stand um, this, uh, this hunting season. And when I was climbing down out of the ladder stand or the tree stand, um, one of the strap got caught on, and this was on my back when I was coming down, and uh, this strap got caught on uh, one of the uh, the posts sticking out on the tree, and it caught, and I kept climbing down. I didn't know it caught, and um, I actually slipped because it actually pulled me off, and I slipped, and this this strap was. Um, holding my, all my weight up and all my gear. So I thought that was pretty impressive. There's some, And there was like no tearing at all or, or anything. So I thought that was kind of cool. It was a little scary, but whatever. And then, um, oh yeah, here's a, you got the, you got the main, you got the main pouch, then you got this top pouch, then the uh, front pouch, and then there's another pouch here. So I use it kind of just as a dump pouch, just to, you know, if I found something in the woods that I liked or, you know, whatever, I just, you know, and I also use this too, to, uh, I put my arrows in here, because when I was bow hunting, I just put my arrows in here and just had them sticking up out of the top of the pack here. So, and then I just re uh, retained them with these two, uh, these two uh, straps. So. All in all, it's a pretty good pack. I think this is the older model of the pack, though. So um, there's also there's new models of the Striker, but um, it's a really good pack. So I'd really uh, recommend getting this pack if you have a chance. So, alrighty, that's it.